Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK and this is Station Ears. Uh, this is season two. I did season one about two years ago. Um, quite a bit has changed in Station Ears in that time. Um, so I thought I'd do a new season and we can show off some of the changes. Uh, I tend to keep it fairly vanilla, so I'm going to just go over Mars. Um, I find Mars quite easy. I was thinking Europa, but Europa is really challenging because of the temperature. And uh, yeah, for new stop of uh, new people, that's difficult. It really is difficult to get going on Europa. It's quite challenging. Uh, the moon, the moon to begin a base, but I just prefer the fact Mars. You've got a bit of atmosphere. Uh, it can be helpful um, quite early on in the game. Um, things like that. So on Mars, you've got a lot of solar energy. Sorry, on the moon, you've got a lot of solar energy. On Mars, it's about a third of that. Europa, it's down to another tenth of what Mars is. Uh, Mimbus is way down there as well. Then you get things like Vulcan, where you've got to deal with the high pressures and high temperatures. Sorry, the high temperatures. Um, asteroid belt, just no atmosphere, but it's obviously asteroids, and you've got to try and travel between the asteroids. Uh, Vulcan is high pressure and high temperature, so I'm just going to stick with Mars for now. So I'm going to select that world. And, um, oh. Do I want to make some changes? What do I just no let's just go with the vanilla. Just to keep it simple for everybody, we'll go with the vanilla. Cancel that, I want to give it a name. Mars Dragonfly Base. Here we go. And here we go on Mars. Um, so as you can see, sun's coming that way, so it's to be towards the east that direction. Look on the bottom right, you can see the compass direction, so that is east. So that's kind of hidden by the cloud, so I want to be heading out that way a bit to build my base. Um, so, oh, that's lucky. Straight away I got what I was after. Um, so let's just swap out some of these items. Um, I don't want the atmosphere. I have a little tracker in there. Basic solar kit and glass. Um, Have to start with that. Get stuck in the base now, on the lander now, so I wouldn't be too far away from the lander, but I want to make sure I've got far enough away that I get the sun when it comes up quite early. So I think if I head this way a bit, say here, um, iron frames, and I will start. Oh, it's painful, isn't it? Don't really. Be. That's painful, isn't it? I'm going to have to um, mine out some of the ground just to flatten it out, so I'll do that anyway. I'll go this way. And then east, that's east. That's to the north, so I want my door to the... Sorry, that's the south, like the door to the north. So my door there, so create an airlock here. Iron sheets, Let's swap those over. Um, welder, I just quickly weld this up. Actually, need to weld because I want to be airtight. Um, 
left turn the wheel. Can I do these even though it's through the... Oh, yeah. Alright, let's quickly... Set that to flatten. Just try and get rid of some of this soil here. Just to at least see up. Come on. I didn't put anything in the bottom there. To my drill off, I've changed the um, way the drill works slightly now. So um, I've left my so as I say, the train change the way the drill works now. So it actually uses a lot more power. So at least ten percent power already. That's quite a bit compared to how it used to be. Let's get this through this bit here. Turned on. Just gotta make sure you turn the drill off now when you're not using it. And put it away. So okay, so next I want iron frames. Sun's over there so I want glass, glass, glass. Sun comes up on that side, so I want glass on that side. And I want glass on the end. And come on, there we go. Cross the top on these three and these three. And I want iron frames if I've got enough iron sheets to do this, which I'll have at the moment. 24, I'm like pushing it. Got to get the walls done before I get the roof done, because at least then it protects you from sandstorms and things like that. Okay, so let me just I'm not too fussed as this if this isn't airtight straight away, I can cope. Three. Now I've got quite enough. So um, I don't now glass. Yep, doesn't go in. I want to deliberately open here because I want to um, bring some bits in so I don't lose them. So let's see. 
let's just put that back in there for the moment, see if I'm going to carry it. And I'll pick this up and take it inside my base. As you can see it's getting dark already, so you have to be fairly careful you don't get yourself lost. Here's my base. Sorry, there's my it in. Keep it out of the way. There we go. See how easy it is just to wander past your base at night. get all my boxes in here and my oxygen here just then they are safe then not that I'm expecting a storm that early but you never can tell in this game I think you have with three days grace or something like that inside out the way. On some of you that will do have time to do this, you've literally just got to crack on with your base and try and get your base set up, but you have time on Mars, so let me just drop a couple of things here I don't need. And I'll stick that in there just to be on the safe side. Should I keep an eye on where my base is? left. No, just the oxygen. And you have to be careful you don't hit yourself in the face with some of these. It used to be worse. Oh, see, that's up. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought my flare ran out then. And there we go, there's my oxygen. So at least everything is safe. So, I will... That. I will pick up the glass and I'll seal this uh, end of the room. And now I will um, 
Put this in there. Pick up the solar panel. And come up here. We know the sun comes up in the east, so the sun comes up that way and over the top, so this solar panel I'm just going to put here for now. Um, There, I don't want it. I'll stick it on top. I'll put it flat. There we go. I'll put it like that for now. And then I need glass just to seal the solar panel. Then I need move that out of the way. I need my wire cutters and the wire. straight down here. side I've got my connection coming in there so now what I need is the power unit which I'll install there install a battery if I can find one. There it is. Okay, so it's a battery in there. Now I need to run the power back outside. I just want that inside because it's easier to find. What I have noticed is there's some coal less. I'm just going to dig out a little bit in here, see if I can find any more coal. To it. drill off. Quickly make a base. out of here. Um, what we've got there, locker kit. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, I'd want the locker. I just drop it for the minute. Actually what I want is a solar fuel generator, auto lathe and arc furnace. I want to put, oh it's a bit close it's a bit close to the wall I'll move that wrench to move it actually let's build the auto lathe if we the over let's build it over here 
So I don't actually have enough iron. I just realised that to build the auto laser. So <laughs> it's frustrating. Okay. I think it's two sheets. So I just need two sheets to build the old lathe. And then I believe it's cabling and plastic sheets. And then the screwdriver. There we go. I need the old lathe to make more iron sheets, that's why I was uh, concerned about it. And then the arc furnace. Side power in, power in is that side. Items in that side. Things go that side, okay. And now I just need to wire them up. Actually, I'm going to move the oh, furnace as well. Take it like that. And bring my cabling down here. Uh, I'm actually going to have to push it one further back, I think. Oh no, not. There we go. Fit perfectly. Is that power in there? The power in, so just connect that. So that means my power's down to 50% on my battery. And there's the arc furnace plugged in. So that now one's fully charged and the sun is up, so I'm gonna put that in there. That's plugged in, that's plugged in, that's not actually turned on yet. I'll turn it on, which means that will start charging when the sun gets on a solar panel. What I need to do is find some iron and I knew the source of mine over this way. Here we go. So I just need to mine some of this to begin with. in a bit of a dip which is a bit of a pain it means it's hard to see from further away I think they've tweaked these um, the drilling again this seems to be drilling a lot better than it was previously I know they've been tweaking the drills and they've got a new one which is gas powered or cold gold cold so I've had a cold, I mean gold. Gold is full, we need lots of gold. Especially when we're looking to make electrum and some of the other alloys. That's lead, don't need that quite yet, but it's good to know it's there. Quick look 
around, see what other ores we've got out here. Oh, there's quite a few things over here. Gold. That's lead. That's volatiles. That's oxide. Um, more coal. More copper. Now we've got a bit of um, iron. What I can do is I can use the arc furnace to let me just put my to my drill off. Put that away. Put the arc furnace and turn that on. As soon as I've got about ten, I'm going to start building some more iron plates just so I can build out this a bit. That's 15, so it's just turned off, turned back on, and eject the ore. Stick in my printer. Turn the printer on and select iron sheets and start crafting them. going on what I want to do, so I just complete these floors so I don't fall through them. And now I can see these. So I just pick up all the iron sheets. Let's finish smelting the iron. I should have some doors, some white door kit. Kit sensor. What that? And that can go in and out of the way. That can go in there. Door. Oh, that way. There we go. So the Oops, I want doors, I want manual doors, stick them in there, iron sheets, quickly roll those up, and you must remember to turn your torch off, so if you don't it burns it, uh, wastes the gas, because this is a um, gas torch and you want to get that gas if you have not set up to mix your own you're kind of screwed hydration critical oh here we go i need water now some water over there let me just what's the pressure in here let's get some pressure in here Try and get about 25, 26 kPa. If you look down the right hand side, it says external and beside the portrait. 25, 26. Okay, turn that off. Make sure that's turned off. I don't want to waste all my oxygen. So now I should be able to. Oh, my helmet. 
without having too many side effects. Um, then if I go to that one I can eat food as well. And then close and lock. 